The start of school almost here for many West Michigan students. There's a new focus this year to help student athletes even when they're not in uniform. Coaches here in Michigan are moving beyond the concern over concussions and also taking aim at mental health. News 8's Donovan Long shows us how they're making suicide prevention a top priority. As a coach, you have a chance to win. Michigan coaches are calling more than just the right place. A lot of times we notice changes in others. Now they're calling attention to their players' mental health with hopes of preventing suicide. Suicide is the second leading cause of death amongst high school students. Christy and Buck is the executive director for the Mental Health Foundation. For the first time, the Michigan High School Athletic Association is using her group's Be Nice model to train 30,000 high school coaches on ways to combat and prevent suicide. It is mandatory. What we want is to make sure that we are getting kids, um, any anybody, the right treatment at the onset when they're first starting to struggle. I mean, she it down. Kelly Konsky knows that struggle. When she's not working as a senior assistant prosecutor, she's coaching a varsity volleyball team at Catholic Central High School. She tells me she took the training a few weeks ago. But I think that the basic uh, signs to be aware of, uh, I know now, which I didn't know before. I mean, even as a parent, I think it's going to help me. Konsky says the training helped her approach mental health issues without offending any of her players. Above all, she says it's helping her break down the stigma of battling suicide. So I think that's why we need something like this. While athletes may not open up overnight, Buck says she hopes the Be Nice model will at least start a conversation. Then I may be able to improve, change, and save lives. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Donovan Long, News 8.